Right. If you're in a deficit that long, mm -hmm. first of all, if you're in a deficit longer than three or four months, you're starting to tax your body. Right. He likes to be ripped. Yeah. But I want to put some size on him. You know? So just so you guys understand, James, James, I am proud of you, man. I hope, I wish you would know what I know, uh, that, that you're in a great spot right now. Um, but the, the, the second statement to your thing about, can you have a high day every two months? That, that's, there's no such thing as that. That's, uh, yeah, I don't, if you want to have that, yeah. yes, but that's not a games yeah. thing. That's not yeah. a, that's not a, yeah. pick up, Hey, I'm going to have a cheap meal every four weeks and that's going to spike up oh, my metabolism. Is, is he, is he trying to gain right now or is he trying, I'm trying to maintain to get, or is he trying to, I'm trying to build cut. him muscle. Okay. I'm trying to build him muscle and him to stay in that, uh, he's not the hugest guy. Mm -hmm. And so, um, he, he, I know this, if I'm speaking out of terms, let me know, James, James, he likes to be ripped, Yeah. but I want to put some size on him. Yeah. And uh, this is the first time that we've been really taking some time to where we got some good size on him. And, mm -hmm. and he's probably up about 20 pounds from where he was sliced down, which is good. Right. Um, and now I just want to hold him there and yeah. keep him in that kind of calorie yeah. and just keep building yeah. that muscle. And there's a few guys that are very similar in, in, in that size and that and shape that they want to be yeah. show day every day. Right. And, and, and I try to tell them, in a perfect world, that'd be mm -hmm. great, but it mm -hmm. doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to get in the the slight surplus. I'm sure Mike's got everything tailored out for you, you know, to follow. But yeah, I mean, it, it's gonna take some time. You just gotta be patient. And the main thing is train hard. You have extra calories right now, so you have the opportunity to crank up the training and really make some progress. Because look, I. You know, before That's this so last show, the uh, Houston Pro Show that I just did, I've been dieting since Thanksgiving. The let's day go, after let's, Thanksgiving. Let's talk about that because yeah. that's a huge. <clears throat> I always say, uh, "Do as I say, not as I do." Mm -hmm. And and like you, I was sliced for those three years. Right. And Mona was like, "Get on the plane, fly, guest pose, guest yeah. pose, guest yeah. pose," and I was like, "Just they don't realize that's actually hurting my body, mm -hmm. regardless how good it looked." Regardless of all that, right. if you're in a deficit that long, mm -hmm. first of all, if you're in a deficit longer than three or four months, you're starting to tax your body. Right. And and so we did that. Mm -hmm. So how did you fix it, if you can go into that? And uh, your belief about the world's never perfect. You right. have to make a name for yourself. Right. You have to right. compete. Oh, you yeah. got to put in the oh, trenches. Yeah. So there's a period of time yeah. where you had to do show, 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 mm -hmm. show. So how do you mm -hmm. fix it, and how do you weigh out the uh, pros and cons? Does that make sense? The pros and cons of well, you're gonna have to put in the trenches. You're gonna have yeah. to do the deficit for a long period of time. You're just talking about dieting that long. Yeah, but how but how do you fix it. your body after that? Well, here I, I kind of share the same uh, philosophy as the mountain dog, John Meadows, and you know. There's two different schools of thought. There's like, hey, slow reverse diet, slowly come out of it. And then there's also, hey, get to a natural fat set point because you're going to get there anywhere. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you know, you know me, I like to eat. So I, it, that just, <laughs> it's like that, that know, patience that, of reversing. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that, that reversing. I was like, man, I just dieted and did all these specific stuff. adjustments the whole time. I don't know if I can. You know, I know people that do, and, you know, I've got clients that I set that up for them, and, you know, I believe that's good. But I kind of want to get healthy as soon as possible, and I want to eat. We just I, did that with them. You we, know we, we did reverse with them. Yeah. I jumped out much quicker like you did yeah. and just got to yeah. that point. Yeah, yeah. See, because I think you can get to that point in a month, or you can get to that point in three months. Now... The three month pro is hey, you might not be uh, gaining fat cell, new fat cells as fast. Or the other way you come to it, but hey, we're going to get it off. Come show it anyway. So as long as it's not too crazy, you know what I mean? Usually, usually you give me about two weeks after the show, and I've probably eaten everything that I wanted to eat. So, you know, I'm kind of like, all right, let's get that out of my system and now. 
Now, again, he too. is a pro, and, and, and when it comes to eating, this guy puts everybody, um, everybody's riding the benches. Even the Heath Evans of this world uh, rides the benches. I only think Mona could probably hang with him um, yeah. on how she lives her life. Uh, let's get to this workout and stuff. Let's do it, bro. Um, but the information today on this was, uh, I, go back and watch this again. I understand what he's talking about when he's doing his deficit into the show uh, and how he took time off afterwards to put that muscle on and really make the body healthy and adapt that new muscle. That's huge. This guy's a monster. Um, and so for you guys out there, and again, you before we leave, mm -hmm. do you think maybe in the last three years this is the best your body's ever looked? Yeah, I definitely think so. I remember I was talking to you probably uh, a little over a year ago. Remember when I was trying to get that pro card and trying yep. to get my weight down? Yep. I send you some pics every now and then. You're we like, were like oh, running the similar yeah. body weights yeah. and fats. Yeah. It was really cool to do that little that process was. with you. Yeah. Uh, pain you pain shared is pain divided. That's what I say. Wow. So it's, uh, you guys write that one down. Yeah, that's, that's a good one for this group here. Pain shared is pain divided. Uh, actually, that's just in every aspect. You guys know that I just found out that Stryker is cancer-free. So uh, mm -hmm. that 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 enjoyment both from uh, uh, worried about it to the enjoyment of celebrating is something, too. Oh, yeah. Because sure. to be able to see you win your pro card, like me and Todd mm -hmm. were talking about how happy we were for you and Heath. And so uh, I imagine that works on the same side, the pain uh, shared is pain divided, but the celebration is also oh, yeah. heightened. You yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't put a price tag on that, especially when you get your family and friends there. And, you know, all y'all support. So that was that was pretty special. Go follow him right now. We're gonna get this workout going, and I will talk to you all soon. James, James, um, I'll go over that whole concept of real quick before we do it, this last one. A high day, in my belief, in Graceland. Is Graceland. Is <laughs> Look at that. Boom. It popped in. A high day is something when you're in a deficit. A high day is not technically, or in, in training principles, is for a surplus, in my belief. I think if you're on a surplus, you're on a surplus. You're golden. Right, right. Uh, you can have a cheat day if yeah, you want. Yeah. But that's a mental thing, not a, a, a metabolism thing, where right. in a deficit, 100%, it goes yeah. in the way. Everybody's a little bit different. And um, I'm a big eater. I like to eat. So I'm kind of one of those guys, hey, if I can shave a, a pretty big deficit over three or four days, then I can kind of do a little refeed on the, on, the, on the third or fourth day, you know, and kind of get a boost. And that will carry me through the next couple of workouts. And it's time to is that, dig and is suffer. That it's kind for of, a show? Is that for slicing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. What about off-season? Off-season? Sure. Off season? I like to put um, higher calorie days or meals around, you know, the the hardest training body Swap groups. Back. Like, you know, exactly. I like to do a lot of times. I line up my back day and leg day side by side, so I can even get in the off season. I can kind of get in two high days there. I can get in one the night before and then one uh, post workout the day. I was going to finish uh, this, but. Is your uh, surplus an extreme surplus, or is it just riding the line? I tell you, I'll be honest with you. I got a little raccoon in me, which means you know, start, I, I start peeling through night, things at, at night. I like to <laughs> peel, peel through the cabinets a little bit, so I kind of, I kind of keep it tight through the day. Sleep's very important off season. A, a big carb meal is something that is ostracized. That you know, oh, after seven, you can't have carbs, all this stuff. Uh, that's, you know, I've been going against that the past few years and it's looked the best that I've looked, you know, sleeping good and everything else. So you guys know that I believe that, right? You guys know that. Mm, some good old oatmeal. All right, you crazies. We'll talk soon. I'll see you guys in a bit.